wait, 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 wait a minute. Will and Jada has been separated since 2016. Did, did y'all know? Because I, I had no idea. I didn't know. But upon listening to Jada's interview on today, I think there is some things that we can take away from this interview and what she had to say about her and Will separating. I think there were some very interesting points, and I want to jump into those points. In her interview, Jada said this. She said, I have made a promise that there will never be a reason for us to get a divorce. We will work through whatever. Now, I, I want to give her kudos for that, right? For one to stick and stay in the marriage. I get it. But I will say through the entanglements, through the red table talk, through the uh, slapping Chris Rock, you know, that whole debacle. There's some things I believe that you might not be able to come back from. And the only reason why I say this now, because I've been through a divorce. So I get it. You get married and you take your vows and you like till death do us part. You know, you, you never really envision getting married, seeing you getting a divorce. You thinking that, you know, you're going to bury this person. But life isn't always like that. So let me give Jada her props for that, because I do think a lot of people aren't willing to fight for their marriages. Right. I think some people are the first time that the red flag come up or something happens and they like, oh, I want out. I think a lot of times people look at marriage now just as something like on their bucket list, like oh, I want to go to Paris. I want to go to Japan. Um, I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to make a million dollars. Let me see. I want to get married. Hmm, what else? You know, so I think marriage is more of a checklist thing than more of actually wanting to actually marry and actually do life together and live life to the fullest until, you know, God calls you home. So that's the thing. But sometimes life gets in a way where some things just are too hard to come back from and it's okay to say that you know what we can't do this anymore that uh we're we're wasting each other's life right because we know we're at the end of our rope and we just need to be amicable amicable enough to move forward with our own personal lives there's no hate there's no shade i still love you because a lot of times i think when people get divorced we we think that it has to be this thing where, you know, I just can't stand you. I hate you and all these other things. No, it can be something to where, you know, we both agree to actually go our separate ways because this no longer serves us. And there's really no coming back from the things that we have been through. Could we have behaved differently? Could we have acted differently? Could we have sought out more help? Of course. But again, I'm speaking from someone who's been divorced after 15 years because my thoughts were different when I was younger. So I will say that sometimes divorce, it, it happens and it, it happens to the best of us sometimes, unfortunately. Jada also spoke about while being separated, being in public, appearing as that still happily married couple. She talked about that. Here's the thing about appearance, especially in this age that we live in with social media it's it's all about the gram. It's all about looking good. It's all about showing off the bling. It's all about showing the 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 dope wedding. You know, it's all about these images and the way we should we want people to view us. And I think to a certain degree that there's pressure from the media, from the public, that we have to keep up this facade to to possibly, you know, give people hope that yes, marriage does work and yes, marriage is great when actually it's all falling down, you know, behind the scenes. Marriage can be messy. Marriage is is a mirror. And I talk about this before. Marriage just reflects who you are because you're doing life with this person every single day. When you turn off the Instagram, when you close the app, when you close Twitter or X or whatever they call it. When you close Facebook, when you close all these different platforms, there you are with your spouse, issues and all. 
<laughs> you know, the stuff that people don't see. And we always talk about social media being the highlight reel. I think sometimes if we take the pressure off of people and even our own expectations, and I'm going to talk about this as well, but marriage just takes work. It takes commitment. Outside of you knowing yourself and you know what goes on in your head, you know what you feel in your heart. You know you, okay? You know you. Next to you, and, and besides God, no one else knows you better than the person you said I do to. And that can cause problems at times. We don't agree on everything. We don't see eye to eye with everything. And marriage is just messy. Marriage is just a reflection. It just shows you who you are. Because if you actually, if you have a successful a happy marriage, you should be able to have the ground to say what you what you really feel in your heart and things that need to be corrected in your spouse that you, you know, we need to address certain things. Let's talk about it. And there are going to be some uncomfortable conversations. There are going to be some of those sleepless nights. There's going to be those times where y'all not cuddling up to each other. Y'all just on the opposite sides of the bed. That, that's marriage that comes with it. But there's also beauty in marriage, too. There's also the growing old together, you know, the, the the fairy tale ending that people always envision. But you got to realize that marriage take work. I always tell people, even though I do pre-engagement coaching, I'm like, look, marriage is not for everybody. Stay single. That's my hashtag. <laughs> Stay single because it takes work and it takes commitment and dedication for a marriage to thrive and to be successful. The last part that Jada said on an interview, which I thought was very interesting that I think a lot of married couples struggle with today is she said this, she said, we were stuck in a fantasy of what we thought the other person should be. <laughs> That's it right there. A lot of times when we get married and there was a video that I seen the other day, I, I think it went viral or something. And I don't want to butcher this, but there was a lady that said, if a woman he, she said, my guy friend told me that if a woman like me enough, I won't have to lie to her. She will lie to herself. He said, I don't have to lie. And I said, man, that's deep. And we can all be delusional to a degree, right? We have our idea. We have our the way we think someone's supposed to be. Especially when we're in a dating phase. I mean, y'all lying. Everybody just lying to each other. Y'all dating, y'all lying. You know you ain't really all that. You know these different things about you. You just lying. And then while you're dating, they're like, what are you looking for in, in a potential spouse? Or what are you looking for in a, in a potential girlfriend or boyfriend, right? And you just giving them your whole playbook. I want a man that believe in God. He, dude ain't been to church in 10 years. He's like, yeah, me and God, cool. God is, you know, Jesus is my homeboy. That whole thing, right? Like he's putting on this whole facade because he wants to be everything that you request when it's really not him. So here it is, you get in a relationship six months later, you come to find out that he's the total opposite of what you thought he was going to be or vice versa. She, you know, at first y'all was having sex all the time. Now nah, y'all don't ever have sex. <laughs> so we fall in love with this idea of what we want someone to be we can see the red flags and be like i can fix that because i'm a unicorn i'm amazing you know i, I can fix anybody that whole thing and you realize that you can't change anyone the only person you can change is you you know your situation might not change but you can and change is hard in the comment section let me know if, if change is hard if change is hard put that down in the comment section below i would love to hear that it is. So instead of trying to change someone else, all we can do is work on becoming the best version of us. And that's going to cause your spouse. They're going to go in either one or two ways. Either they're going to get with the program and want to be better because they seen changes in you or they're going to end the relationship because they're like, you know what? You too much. When people get married and they say we went separate ways and stuff like that, I believe there's some validity in that. Because one person is probably growing and doing the work and the other person is just kind of there. You know, John Maxwell, the author John Maxwell says every day you're either preparing or repairing every day. You're either doing one of those two, th one of those two things. There's nothing in the middle. 
So I think we have this idea in our mind that we think this person is supposed to be who we envision opposed to actually accepting someone for who they are. And a lot of times we put on the facade because we want this person to accept this made up version of us to make them think that we're perfect when we're really not. Because we like, if they know the real me, they're not going to be with me, right? But that's not being honest to yourself. Don't betray yourself to make someone else happy. Just be who you are. And I believe that more relationships will be successful if we're more honest up front about who we are. You know, hey, hey, girl, I ain't going to even lie. I got a 550 credit score right now. I'm trying to get myself together. You know, I got three baby mamas. You know what I'm saying? Just keep it real, whatever it is. But all I'm saying is be your authentic self and allow that other person to make that decision. And if they don't want to rock with you, that's cool. Get someone who's going to accept you for who you are. But I will say that I wish Will and Jada the best individually. Um, They have gave us some memorable media clips. And um, Will Smith's book is really good, too. I think if you read his book, it's going to I'm having it in the description below. But reading his book is really going to help you understand him a lot more. I think the whole thing with Chris Rock. I understood. I'm not saying it's okay, but I see why he did it. So make sure you go check out the book because it's going to be a real eye opener. Hey, thanks again for watching another segment of A Scary to Remarry. I have so much more amazing content and some phenomenal guests as well. People who've been through a divorce, people who remarry, people who desire to marry. So much great content. So make sure that you hit one of these videos. It's somewhere around here, but anyway. Go watch another video.